Each particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a gravitational force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square distance between their centers. That is Newton's law of universal gravitation. 4.2 calculate the force of attraction between mass and earth. So let's go ahead and take a look at the information we have. On 13 May 2021, mass and earth were 3.171 times 10 to the power 11 meters away from each other's surfaces. Mass has a mass of 6.417 times 10 to the power 23 kgs and a radius of 3.4 times 10 to the power 6 meters, while earth on the other hand has a mass of 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 and a radius of 6.38 times 10 to the power 6 meters. So we need to calculate the force of attraction between them. Well, we have our equation, obviously, Newton's law of universal gravitation, F is equal to G, M1, M2, divided by R squared. G is gravitational constant. M1 can be either the mass of mass or F, and M2 will be F or mass, whatever we decide on. While R2 is the square distance between their centers. And that is where we lose a lot of people when it comes to the value of R. But let's just substitute the other variables first. G, the gravitational constant, we have 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. And then let's take M1 as the mass of math. Multiplication is cumulative, so it doesn't matter what we start with. So we're going to have 6.417 times 10 to the power 23 multiplied by the mass of F, 5.98 times 10 to the power 24. Everything divided by R squared. R is the distance between their centers. In our equation, we're given the distance between them, but we need the distance between the centers. So if you actually substitute 3.171 times 10 to the power 11 meters as it is, it is wrong because that is the distance between them, between their surfaces and not the distance between their centers. Let me show you how the distance between their centers will look like. So Earth, it has its center somewhere here. And then mass has its center somewhere here. So from the center to the surface, we have the radius. And then the same is true with mass. From its center to the surface, we have the radius. So the distance between the centers is the radius of F plus the distance between them plus the radius of mass. That is the distance between their centers. So let's go ahead and substitute. What is the radius of F? The radius of F is 6.38 times 10 to the power 6 meters. So we have 6.38 times 10 to the power 6 meters. Plus the distance between them, between their surfaces. That is 3.171 times 10 to the power 11. Plus the radius of mass. Here it is 3.4 times 10 to the power 6. So 3.4 times 10 to the power 6. Everything squared. So now I can go ahead and put that in my calculator. Right. So don't make that mistake. We need the distance between their centers, not the distance between them. Right. And then we need that distance in meters. If we're given the distance in kilometers, we would have to convert it to meters first. I am getting 2.54 times 10 to the power 15 newtons. And there we go. That is the force of attraction between the Earth and mass. 4.2. Let's go ahead and take a look at 
A car-sized rover enters the atmosphere of Mars. And the first question, calculate the acceleration due to the gravity of Mars. So the acceleration due to the gravity of an object. So G is equal to, that is the acceleration. Capital letter G, the gravitational constant, multiplied by the mass of the whatsoever body we are interested in, right? Yeah, our subject is mass. So the mass of mass. Everything divided by the radius of mass. This is the equation we use to find the acceleration due to gravity of a planet. It can be a moon, so on and so on. So we're going to have 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. This is the gravitational constant. It is always 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Multiply by the mass of mass. The mass of mass is 6.47 times 10 to the power 23 everything divided by the radius of mass the radius of mass is 3.4 times 10 to the power 6 and we square that when i put that in my goal here i'm getting 3.7 meters per second squared and here's a question for you 4.3.2 how does the acceleration calculated in 4.3.1 changes as the rover gets close to the surface? Will the acceleration due to mass increase, decrease, or remain the same as a rover or as any other object gets close to the surface of the planet? And why are you saying so? Let me know in the comment section.